This time of year, we expect to be in the full throes of winter sports like ice skating and skiing. But this year, the lack of snow across the region has a lot of people rethinking their winter plans. That will change tomorrow for some, but one place that people are desperately hoping for snow is Hayward, Wisconsin. Liz and Rosie are there again tonight. You guys, I'm sure after seeing Chris say that storm's moving south, they are just bummed out up there. Uh, you're right, Frank. I mean, uh, using the sports jargon, basically the folks here at the Brooklyn have to call an audible to, to make this weekend work. I mean, they're, they're going to celebrate the Nordic culture, but certainly they love to see all that snow that's going to be hitting Rochester come up to this area in, in, in Wisconsin, Liz. You know, and, and they've already made big changes to the course of the Brooklyn and we're standing where it's actually supposed to end, and you can tell. A lot of cars, a lot of sidewalk, no snow. Yeah, things look very different this year. You said it, no cars should even be here. This whole street should be lined with snow. And as you can imagine, all of these changes have organizers really working overtime here. And visitors from overseas <laughs> really just bummed about their luck. Uh, we just arrived. <laughs> Sandra Hecker just flew in from Germany. She's standing in front of the only snow in sight, a picture in the Birkebeiner Museum. If there is no race, we will be very disappointed because it is a long uh, trip and we planned it from summer, summer time and yeah, and train a lot. But uh, yeah, that's outdoor sport. You would never can plan the weather and uh, yeah. Ben Pop is the executive director of the American Birkenbeiner. Certainly uh, we're not in plan A or B anymore. We're probably down on F or X at this point. He knows for some skiers like Sandra, this is an opportunity that doesn't come around often. His plan now? Focus on what may still be saved. We're praying to the weather gods right now, and we sort of threw the Hail Mary, and, and all everything is all in up north, uh, the north half of the trail. It's still possible a race will happen Saturday, mostly near Cable, Wisconsin, or if not a race, an untimed ski just for fun. The third option? By easily uh, noontime on Friday, we'll be able to have a decision as to can we ski or not, and uh, if we can't ski, where's the party going to be? Either way, Sandra and thousands of skiers like her are here and ready to have a good time. Even if they came ready to race, we just want to to get with the ski today and tomorrow. Look a little bit around and wax and yes, so. But uh, yeah, now, now we can make new plans. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good attitude, making yeah. new plans, no doubt. So we will know by noon tomorrow whether the, the race on Saturday will happen. No refunds for those 11,000 participants who signed up, some a year in advance. Well, that's the key thing, Liz. You say that people make it reservations a year ahead of time, and people are still signing up today, not because they think it's going to snow, but they just want to continue to support this event. That's how much it means to them, and it's family tradition for years and years and years. So, yeah, they realize the odds are very slim now that any skiing will be happening. We'll know that by noon tomorrow but they're still going to have a good time and really support something that they're going to be back again next year for.